Oh, that's a, that's an awkward thumbnail. <laughs> I'm just uh putting stuff on my social media before we start. Uh, I think that's it for that. Put that away. Uh, are we ready? Am I ready? Put OBS back in front. Image gone. That up. There you go. Let it black out. Let it refresh. Alrighty. I'll give it a couple more minutes before we actually start. Lighting is good. I don't need it like super dark today. Get nice and cozy in here with my awesome Ninja Turtle blanket. It's supposed to be like Michelangelo. things that every time I do this you can see what I'm doing <laughs> and every time I do this every time I click back it'll be like black screen for a second oh whoops okay hello and welcome to the streaming parson plays Starcraft that's right, guys. It's another Throwback Thursday today, and I am back in the mood for some good old StarCraft action. So last time I was playing StarCraft, which was like a while ago. No, I think I played last week for a little bit. I rescued Tassadar because he was taken in by the Protoss Conclave. And now we have freed Tassadar, and now we're going to go take the fight to the Overmind. But before that... Zeratul is like, yo, we gotta take out some Cerebrit Tassadar. like, you know what? That's a grand old plan. And Phoenix is like, yeah. We, we, we gotta, like, thin out, you know, the Overmind's armies a little bit. So, we're gonna go thin them out. It's time to go, uh... I still gotta finish the level where you gotta kill a couple Cerebrits, which will weaken the Overmind. And then, we go fight the Overmind directly. Alright, what, what the heck was I doing? Of course, of course, that's the first thing I have to hear when I start. <laughs> hey, Owl. Okay, what the hell was I doing? Oh. Okay, we're gonna need a lot more than that. Oh. This guy's still building uh, some uh, probes, so... Or... What the hell do you call those things? Uh, go away! Jerk. 
I don't know what this game is, but it looks cool. Al, do I have a story for you? I mean, if you watch my other episodes, basically StarCraft is like this super old school, like... Real-time strategy. But basically, as I explained in that very first episode when I did this, real-time strategies kind of died when the MOBA kind of took over the computer gaming world. Of course, like, Twitch had a lot to do with that because you think of, like, games like League of Legends and how big League of Legends is and other, like, MOBAs. Dota, Smite, etc. Oh, that's awkward. This guy just flies over Zeratul, and he's just like... I'm not gonna lie, just watching the carriers, like, blow these guys up is just so satisfying to watch. Bye. I'm, like, super scared to fight the next fight. Okay, we're gonna save actually, because I don't remember the last time I actually did any- what I actually did last time. But yeah, like, the- the- the real-time strategy games like Warcraft, Starcraft, they kind of died in like, I want to say the late 2000s? Ish? Like, by, 20 by 2010, it was basically dead. Um, one of the big people to blame is actually... Uh, one of the biggest people to blame for the death of the uh, real-time strategies is, ironically, Blizzard, who, you know, had the most popular real-time strats with Warcraft. But when they got into, like... They made other games, and when they made World of Warcraft, I think that's what kind of killed the genre. Hey, get back here. Oh, crud. Okay, yeah, I don't like that. We're gonna load. There's so much safe scumming that I do in this game because I'm a jerk. <laughs> okay, now that I know there's actually like a bunch of uh, guardians over here, I want them gone. Hi there. Huh? Hey, come here. Bye. Okay. I don't know which exact way I should be going. Oh, I don't like this, though. I really don't like that. But I guess we don't have much of a choice. Let's go. Where's that carrier? Okay, I'm gonna have you stick around down here for a while. One of the funny things about playing an old game like this is that you can just kind of save scum so much crap in this game. <laughs> Which is how I'm basically like beating it at this point, honestly. It's like, okay, I know where enemies are gonna be. Because it's not like... Like, StarCraft isn't like Fire Emblem, right? Fire Emblem, most of the information minus like... BS ambush spawns is given to you, but in a game like StarCraft, you have all this like fog of war to deal with, and everybody hates that.
Honestly, like, I just swarm up on, like, carriers because... You gotta do what you gotta do to win. You're right, Owl. You're right. You gotta do what you gotta do to win. Shining should be in here pretty soon because I know he's been around, like, watching my, uh, stuff. Are you serious? Construct additional pylons, my ass. Alright, let's do this thing. I'm coming for you. Yeah, you know what's up, Owl. You gotta do what you gotta do to win, right? Oh, you dirty rat. Right. I really didn't like that thing. I wanted it gone. Oh, there's a bunch of guardians. Honestly, just watching these things explode is just so satisfying. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Your orders hey, where do you think you guys are going? Entaro Adun. So be it. I want this gone, actually. Okay, I'm gonna need a lot of, uh, scouts. Okay, I need this thing gone. Better than starting to ha start all over again, that's true. But see, unlike Fire Emblem, you can save in the middle of a map. Bye. <laughs> Got rid of that guy. Oh, what the? Build a couple more of these. Oh, what the? I can save him. I can save him. Okay, I'm gonna recharge all these guys. Get the heck out of here. That was actually really good progress. We are definitely saving. This somewhat gives me Doom vibes. You know, that's fair. I mean, space games, right? If it's got high tech weapons and it's in outer space. I mean, you can't really say, like, who coined that idea, right? Like, guys with guns in outer space. Can you really coin that as an idea? I don't think you can. You can't copyright that. If it's got guns and it's got outer space, you can't copyright that idea. But they all give the same vibes, right? Okay, I need my battery. Power me up, boys. Okay, I gotta wipe out more of up there. I kinda wanna get rid of this guy, but that might not even be necessary. Art style wise, sure. I mean once again, it's like it's like that 90s gaming, right? And I mean Doom has a Doom is a little bit before that, but oh oh wow.
Take it one shot Your at a time. Affirmative. Instructions. Okay. You get back over here. I don't want you dead. I need I need my observers. Awesome. That's fair. Affirmative. Your command. I mean, you're you're absolutely right. There's. They all like '90s gaming have that kind of style. Oh. Is anyone actually hurt? Oh, what the? Instructions. It's like a guy with like no shields. I want to see who that is. Is it you? Yeah, it's you. Oh, I'm out of power. Okay, I need to be able to start taking out more of these bases. You go bye bye. Instructions. Ah, take way too many hits though. Your command. I need a couple more scouts for some anti air weaponry. Scout, I don't really need that. I need this could be useful. Instructions. All right, so far so good. I mean, this is the, like the '90s in a nutshell. Games like StarCraft. I want this gone. You have no idea how annoying those things were. Oh. You can make it. Run for it. It's, it's imperative that we get rid of those. Ha-ha-ha! Gotta get rid of these Hydralis. How annoying or what? Oh, the queens? The queens were those flying things that, like, they shoot that green crap on you, which basically lets them see you anywhere on the map. And it slows your movement, and we all know movement is important. You don't want to ever get your movement slowed down. Okay, getting rid of you is actually more important. Oh, you dirty animal. Okay, where's my next carrier? I want this gone. So it's up spawning, guys. Jeez. Oh, 
Oh, what the? How is he able to see me? Oh boy, that part is way easier now. Alright, that's really good. Alright, you guys just kind of hang out here while I micromanage the base a little bit. You over here. Are you guys delaying on your... Yeah, you guys are. But, funny story, Owl. Owl. Like, StarCraft is such an old game. It's like 20-something years old. When I got into it, I got into it like, I don't know, I'm trying to think of how old I was. Oh. Actually, hang on, let me just, uh... Stop. Okay, this is just awkwardly positioned. We're gonna put another photon cannon right here. Sarah tool, you just hang out there for now. Uh, not over there. We want to go over here. Cause the main mission. Okay. Oh, sorry. Did uh did the stream die? Or maybe it's just me moving too fast. It, 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 I don't know. Oh, they're gonna try and rebuild here. I don't know why they would. This place is out of minerals, but. I mean, you do you, I guess, right? Oh, you got... Oh, Okay. I know, like, maybe sometimes my fingers move too fast. And it will cause the- it will cause the game to freak out a bit. Or, like... Yeah, it'll cause it to freak out a little bit. That's the best way of putting it. Hi. I'm coming in. Oh, crap. Oh wow, that was so badly handled. Almost got killed there. What am I doing? Zeratul hmm? can handle that. Instructions. Ah, crap. So be it. Destructions. Oh, you dirty animal. Okay, let Zeratul take care of this. Look at this guy, he's just slicing this thing up nicely. We're near the end of the level now that I cleared up that area. And then we get to play probably one of the best levels in StarCraft, period. Okay, you guys back up a bit. Alright, Zerich will take care of this. I was just a Zerg, like, whatever. Alright, 
Zeratul will Zeratul move up here. No, stop hitting that. No, my detector. I gotta get another one. Let's build another one. Why the drones just stop working? I'll take it. Oh, what? Oh, what killed me? I didn't notice that. Doesn't matter anymore anyway. Oh, I lost all my guys here. Something killed them all. Okay, we're gonna wait a little bit. Drones, though. So be it. Okay, I'm not going to risk their tool like that again. Oh, you want to ask me if I'll be summoning for Legend of Dimitri? Not really. Okay, Zeratul, you just kind of hide out up here. Not really. Oh, what's shooting me? Stop shooting me. Jerk. Uh, yeah, I won't really be summoning for him. Oh, 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 no. Ouch. Okay, make sure I get that little, th that stupid little thing.
I'm almost done this level. Because one of the problems, Owl, is that, like... You know that I'm the guy who likes to summon on, like, seasonal banners? And IS is doing that thing where, like, oh, guess what? Every month has a seasonal banner? Which really makes summoning a lot harder now. Like, in general. Oh, oh crap. I died. Oh my goodness, I gotta do that all over again. I forgot about that. Oh no. Okay, now that I know though... Okay, Zeratul, you chill out down here. What killed me last time? Okay, I won't send Zeratul up yet. I can't believe I just died though. I got careless because I was like, Oh, Zeratul will be fine, and the Zeratul was not fine. Leave that carrier there. Oh, why do I keep doing dumb crap like that? Okay, I don't need you guys on that. Need you on this, I need you on this. That. That's what got Derek to killed last time. I almost died just now. Oh, that was unfortunate. I gotta do all that all over again. Just hang out there for a bit. You will not escape this time. That was extremely satisfying just to watch that thing blow up. <laughs> I was so close to finishing the level 2 when I died, which is what makes it a major oof. Hey, is there a tool you go this way? If I can leave these guys here for a while and 
not get my base blown up like a clown like I did earlier. I should be okay. Right, let's put one more of these things here. I need more pylons though. You must construct additional pylons, which is where the meme comes from. It's an old meme that's probably no longer really around. But there was an old meme where they talk about like, you must construct additional pylons. And it comes from this game. This is what killed me last time. But not this time. I just gotta get rid of all these spore colonies. And then we're in really good shape. I forget Cerebrits are also detectors. You stay here and hold position. Just so let those guys. I'm not going in quite yet. <laughs> Instruction, imperative. Instructions. Yep. That's, that's, that's StarCraft in a nutshell. Alright, let's get rid of this. Where'd that ultra let's go? Give Zeratul something to do. Zeratul will finish this off. This Cerebrit is dead. This time we're gonna save and not screw up this time. Oh, thanks. Oh, did the Vespin guys deplete? Nope. Whatever, it doesn't even matter anymore. Oh. Maybe I should have been way more careful about that, but honestly, it doesn't even matter. Group up, surround them all, don't let a single one of them escape. Okay, I want to get rid of these things.
Bye. Got rid of you. Okay, Zeratul is in great health, so this time I won't stupidly die. Hopefully. Because the main mission is to have Zeratul kill this thing called the Cerebrit. For reasons that I don't feel like explaining. <laughs> but the game does explain it. Besides, he's your most efficient way of killing stuff anyway. Once this thing is gone, the map is over, basically. Because then I can just kill the Cerebrate without any problems. Right, you on that. You guys can blow up other buildings. And there you go. Oh, this level. I mean, it makes sense why it's so hard, though. Because, like, we are basically at the end of the game. And there you go. <sighs> that took a while. Yeah. Stream Parson. At number one. Killed 409 units. Lost 27. <laughs> But look at these guys, like so many, so many in their brood. Why? Anyway, on to the actual level I wanted to play today. Eye of the Storm, Protoss Command Ship, Ganchathor. Ominous. Yet, death may be a blessing should we fail here. We seek now to destroy a foe that has ravaged its way across the universe, consuming all in its path. And now, it has reached the end of its long journey. The Overmind has come to destroy all that we hold dear and assimilate us into itself. And I say to thee, this shall not come to pass. Fire shall not fall. Executor, I stand ready, as do I. Well, I guess all I have left is to see this through. The Zerg have taken everything from me. My home, my family, my friends. I know that nothing I do can bring those things back. But I'll be damned if I just sit on my hands and wait for the end. I want a piece of them, all right. I'm in. Then let our actions speak for us. For Adun. For Ayr. Alrighty, so. Mission objectives. Destroy the Overmind. Tassadar, Raynor, and Zeratul must all survive. Well. That second part might be a little tricky. Because if Defiler, if Zerg Defiler show up, it can really screw you over. Executor. Tassadar, this comes too late to you, but the Conclave has witnessed your defeat of the Cerebrate. They know now that they cannot deny the necessity or the valiancy of your actions. 
We sought to punish you while it was we who were in error. You represent what is greatest in us all. You have not enough all minerals. All our hopes go with you. And Taro you are doomed, not enough minerals. brave sons of ire. Wow. Does that mean they're going to send some backup for us? That should be good. This level is like the ultimate test of micromanaging skills. <laughs> And I mean the ultimate test. Yes, Executor. You address me. Oh my god. And Taro Adidas. Who am I? Very well. Who am I? Yes, very well. There is a Zerg building, I'm gonna blast it with this gun. Oh yeah. Right on. Sounds fun. Let's go, Rainer. Oh, yeah. Sounds fun. My boy Rainer. Love this guy. Rainer here. Oh yeah. Sounds oh. fun. Right on. There's something in particular I wanna shoot. I wanna shoot that. Oh my god, it's not a one-shotter. Uh-oh. I kind of like the instructions that. Well, don't worry, I'll build a bunch of carriers, and you'll get to hear a lot of that. Yes. I want that. This map is so big. Very well. Who am I? Am I? Very well. Yes. Am I? So be it. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Don't you dare. Oh, shoot. Right on. This should be good. Oh, no. Get away. <laughs> Stay back. thing up now. I want you gone. I need to repair a brainer, because if he dies, that's game. Oh, come on! Okay, let them hit that building, that's okay. If it blows up, just can't be helped, I guess.
Jeez. Okay, Rainer, you gotta hang out here for a while. How the heck did they just bypass all my guys? I need a f science lab. Alright, this place is kind of lacking. We better change that. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Man, these guys took quite a hit. Love these guys. complete. Thank you. Uh, not yet. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, I'm gonna move you over. Quite a hit there. Okay, better build on the human side first. I think Tassadar is more than powerful enough to defend my base. I hope he is. My physics lab. I think it's fine to just put these guys here. Protoss side now. This is Jimmy. I read you. Order right, you get in here. Once I, I want to build a bunch of these. They're called the battle cruisers. They're really powerful. <laughs> I kind of want a whole bunch of them. <laughs> but I also need some anti air, so let's build a couple more of these guys first. Oh my gosh. It's like. Ah. Go ahead, Commander. Right on. This should be good. We should save. Oh yeah. Sounds fun. Oh yeah. Sounds fun. Right on. Oh yeah. Right on. This should be good. Look at this. This is like plain. Oh, yeah. Nothing Sounds out here. Fun. Can you have a bunch of them? Yes, but they're expensive. That's the problem. So you have to wait quite a while before you can start building them. Oh, that's a forge. I want that. Yeah, that's the fun thing about like these kind of like StarCraft, Warcraft, or any of these old school real-time strats. You you click so fast and you just like go through all their voice lines so fast. It's it's I don't know, I find it funny. Oh my god, the other base is over there. Are you serious? Fine, be that way. No 
The only problem with this map is that it's just so much to do. Like, I have to control two whole armies. It ain't easy. Oh yeah, I can build Battlecruiser now. Where do you think you're going? Where's that repair? Where's a uh, fix it? I should have set a rally point right there. I might want to build this anyway, even though I might not use it. I honestly like using the humans way more than I like using the Protoss. Oh, what the? This thing's out of gas already? You gotta be shitting me. I might lose these Dark Templar, but as long as Zeratul survives, it's okay. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Why is this so far out here? I don't want to build another base out here. I know there's like a bunch of Zerg down here. I, I know they're here. I know you're here. Very well. Whoops. For I, so be it. Very well. For I, Research very complete. Well. Am I very well. Oh, the Protoss? Yeah, they, they do look way... They look For awesome. I, like, I will not deny they look I, cool, but the simplicity of the Terran or the humans... Cruiser operational. Additional supply depot is required. Yes, sir. <laughs> Good day, Commander. Engage. Transmit coordinates. I read you, sir. I read you. Right away. To work. We'll just stand there. Okay, this one has a lot of gas. This has a lot of gas. This is gonna be out of gas. Like, why would they troll you like that? They might as well just put the two bases next to each other instead of literally on the opposite ends of the map. <laughs> This is a big troll move, honestly. Uh, what do I want? I do want this. Let's build another battle cruiser. Uh, I need to build. I need to build a starport here, but I don't have enough. I don't have enough money. I have a lot of gas. I just don't have any uh, minerals. All right, I don't need you on that anymore. I need you on minerals. One guy on. One guy on. Uh, gas is enough. Open. Are you even kidding me? Go away! Aha! Yeah, you run! Alright, what took damage? Okay, not that much. Can I do something super risky? Yes, yes, of course. Oh crap. What more of you? Jerk. Alright, where's that, uh... There you are. I need you here. I'm gonna find another one of those spore colonies and I'm gonna launch some Yamato guns at it. That should be good. Receiving 
Are you kidding me? How many more of these things are there? Oh, oh no. That's what I want. I'm gonna load. I can't believe there are so many of those. What the heck? Good day, okay, we are not gonna do that this time. This. No, stop him. I forgot this guy didn't have the laser research, so me making that trip was kind of a waste. Okay, second battle cruiser will really help. Receiving transmission. Standing by. Can't believe I almost got wasted there. Reporting in. Roger. Commander. Standing by. Vector locked in. Battle cruiser operation. Here. I read you. Healing frequencies open. Okay, let's wait for this thing to finish up. Then I'll I'll do another expedition. I guess I'll just send you in here. Okay. I got plenty of Vespian gas, so I can kind of forego that for a while. Let's build a starport. Right here. I might as well build an additional pylon. things out. Then you stick on this. We're gonna do a take two on that one. I love these guys though, they look they sound so cool. Good day, Commander. All crews Go ahead, report. Commander. Sounds fun. I sound like a predator. Roger. Actually, I have a fun idea, and I'm gonna do it. It's been so long since I've used the Terran that I forgot that this was an option. Okay, you 
stay back. Oh crap. Let's see if I can get more than one tank. Oh, this is gonna be so funny. Oh, this is gonna be great. Okay, you guys just kind of hang out here for a while. Oh, this is gonna be great. Hold position. This is gonna be great. Hopefully this works. You gotta be kidding me! My tank and my SCV. What? Okay, now that now that I know now that I know that happens, I'm not doing that. Go ahead, Commander. Bro sees <laughs> No, they say uh proceeding. <laughs> but that is hilarious observation. So much for that strategy.
I hate Defiler so much though. Oh, that was oh, yeah. asinine. Sounds fun. Anytime you're ready. Go ahead, Commander. This should be good. Raider here. Go ahead, Commander. Oh, where'd that other guy finish uh, building? Oh, there it is. Need a fleet beacon. Too many. Anytime you're ready. Go ahead, Commander. This Just gotta thin them out slowly. This is working just fine. Why I didn't come up with just doing this at the beginning? I don't know. But we'll just take it. Build another battle cruiser. It's gonna be great. Go ahead, Commander. I gotta repair up because this guy's almost dead. I don't want to lose any of my battle cruisers because they've been doing an amazing job. Uh oh. I need to. I need protection from the base. What do you mean you just found out? How can you just find out that you have like stitches on your uh oh How do you just find that out? <laughs> uh you know I just like to tease you, but like seriously. How did you not notice that a lot sooner? That mega douche purple though, that was seriously not nice. Oh, you dirty rat. Oh, what the? Uh oh.
That's why I hate Defiler so much. Okay, I need... I need one of these. Okay. I almost died. I per oh my god, I almost lost Jim Rayner. Okay, I gotta find that Defiler. I'm gonna redo that because I did not like that at all. I lost almost all my guys just because of that little attack. This is Jimmy. Go ahead, Commander. Sounds fun. Like that that's super asinine. I'm also gonna need one of these a lot sooner. Something on your mind. Anytime you're ready. I forgot about those dumb things. Go ahead, Commander. But when I looked again, there was another cloth attached to my palm and I couldn't see the old wrapping. Sounds oh. Fun. That's Weird, but okay. Annoys me. This is Jimmy. Rainer here. Sounds fun. I am dated. Yes, executor. Yeah. Order scout. This is Jimmy. Right on. This should be good. Oh yeah. This should be good. Oh yeah. Sounds fun. Oh yeah. Excellent. 
Okay, I'm gonna find that stupid defiler and I'm gonna kill it. Receiving headquarters. Let's roll. Commencing. Affirmative, sir. Anytime you're ready. Reporting for duty. Raider here. Job here. Some issue. Yes, sir. Transmit orders. Commencing. Affirmative, sir. Let's roll. Excellent. The warriors have engaged the enemy. Anytime you're ready. Well, that was overkill. Oops. Rebuild that fleet beacon, huh? Raider here. Oh. I read you. Order for saving. This is Jimmy. This should be good. Okay, we're gonna save now because I wanna keep that progress as small as it was. Go ahead, Commander. Raider here. Oh, what time is it? 4 30. And I'm out of London fog. Battle cruiser operational. This is Jimmy. This should be good. Reporting in. Go ahead, Commander. Hmm. What are you on? Yeah, I'm going. Receiving headquarters. Affirmative, sir. Excellent. Commencing. You have not enough minerals. <sighs> Go ahead, Commander. <laughs> Never enough minerals when you need it, huh? Orders, right I gotta repair all these guys. We are under attack. Thing tries that crap again. I'll be ready for him. It's a good thing I saved when I did, though. Okay, I want a fleet beacon down here, please. We're gonna build a couple of these dumb things. Need more photon cannons. You address me. Order's captain. 
All crews reporting. Oh, where are you? Okay, yeah. You're good. Rainer's good. This guy's gonna be good soon. That guy needs a lot of repairs. And then it's all. Oh! If I get six battle cruisers, we'd be in pretty good shape. Unless, of course, they def use a defiler on me or some dumb crap like that. Duh. Oh, what the? Uh. Good day, Commander. That that sucks. Cancel that for now. Put the full on cannon here. Let's put one over here. Alright, you get back to work. Good day, yes, Commander. Sir. Anytime you're ready. Order scouting. Standing by. Anytime you're ready. Oh, my starport's been damaged a little, but I guess it's okay. We have you on visual. Actually, I want another one of these. I need more supply depots. Come on, guy. Sounds fun. There you go. This is Jimmy. Anytime you're ready. Something on your mind? No problem. Transmit coordinates. Attack for me. Go ahead, Commander. This is Jimmy. Rainer here. Need a robotics factory, so let's uh, build that. Uh, not enough space. Let's go harass them a bit more. I guess it makes sense because attendants cramp, cramp. Because attendants cramp when that happens. I assume is what you're trying to say. I'm trying not to put words in your mouth, but I assume that's what you're talking about. Zergling rush.
There was a whole Zerg rush there. Uh, clean that up. Okay, I gotta do that way better. Go ahead, Commander. Sounds fun. Receiving headquarters. I read you, sir. Right Drop here. Finish. Sounds fun. Order scatter. Upgrade complete. Roger that. Right away, sir. Much better. Alright, you get back here. Where's that, uh... Oh, there he is. Come on, guy. Hurry up. I need you over here. Oh. Haha, -ha, I stopped that Zerg rush. It is 4.30. I'll try and finish this level in an hour and a half. It might be a little tricky to pull that off, but I'll try it. Because there's a good chance I might run out of money before uh, and then get myself stuck. Go ahead, Commander. Receiving transmission. Yeah. 
gonna take from this one to get through. I don't know. It's slow. I know it's slow, but that's just the way it is with this game. No, I'm just saying I wonder how long he's gonna take the Discord to kick his hand. Oh. Why would it do why would it do that? <laughs> but uh remember the last time it kept like bugging out every time I was in voice chat? Oh, who knows how long that'll take. Like Discord does weird crap. And it like I just assume it fe it works when it feels like working. Let's just go with that. Yeah. I don't feel like it today. You, I'm not working. This is the Discord in a nutshell. All right, where's that? I don't SC really feel like it. I don't. I don't feel like helping you. Also, since this is your stream, I'm gonna try not to curse a lot. That's okay. You do. You do. You do your best. I won't. I won't try. <laughs> I won't reprimand. Oh, 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 I don't like that. <laughs> Oh, oh, Lordy, look at this! Oh god. Like, no, go away! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great, though. No, it's not, no, it's not! <laughs> oh, it's gonna take way more than a couple of laughs! SCV! Oh, you can do it, buddy, I believe! I believe at you. <laughs> Go ahead, Commander. Go ahead, Commander. Oh, that, that scared me. I was like, oh my goodness, with all those Hydralisk! <laughs> Boss, you killed a child. Fuck the child. If it crawls, it can brawl. Amazing. Mission completed. And I already cursed. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, get out of there! <sighs> okay, boys, you got you guys got a whole position. That's a beautiful positioning. Just shoot drones. I think I think what sucks right now for me is that I, I, I'm. Is that you're turning into a robot? Oh, I almost peed myself there. If that thing had, if that thing had touched me, that could have, that could have very well ended the mission. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Well, they they can explode. Okay, I know, I know the trick. You're gonna circle all the way around because I want that guy. On this side of the map. Oh, yeah. Hold position. Go ahead, Commander. Sounds fun. Good day, Commander. Rainer here. Right on. Rainer here. This is Jimmy. This is Shish. Go ahead, Commander. We're getting, at, we're, we're getting out of here. I think I'll... I think I will die. I think I will die. Yes, yes, of course. Thank you, Discord. You blew up my battle cruiser! How dare you! What the fuck, Turk? Is that Turk? I don't know who that is. Hi, uh, Lim. But if 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 Shining's saying that's Turk, then uh, what's no, up? No, 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 I don't wanna. <laughs> I hope. I hope. I hope you made you to make me a Krabby Patty. I hope you're. I hope I you're a Star. Wanna. I hope you're a StarCraft enthusiast, uh, Lim. I I do it for the throwbacks, man. Like StarCraft is not a game you really see around very much anymore. Oh, that do it is for the boomers. Do it for the boomers. <laughs> 
to the Zoomers. <laughs> From South Korea, my my man, Lim, my man. I like you already. <laughs> you know, okay. So, to to you, shining an owl, like there used to be the whole like stereotype about like, because in South Korea actually really was what started the whole esports thing, because yeah. StarCraft used to be treated like a professional sport once upon a time. In Sounds South like Korea. Fun. Oh, so like yeah. fun. And so... I think I remember those. Yeah, and like, you know, even to this day, like, you think of, like, the other stuff, like, uh-oh. Uh-oh, what? That. Ooh. Oh, I see the sus <laughs> That's gonna be great. Hi there. Why didn't you report the dead body? Because it's none of my business. Who's sus? Sounds fun. Gotcha. Uh oh. Before, well, same before uh, Discord decided to do it. I don't really feel like working. Uh, Sounds like Discord. Oh no, no, no. Uh, my Discord started to be like, I don't feel like working. I'm in slight pain because the cloth that was coming off of my finger is somewhat attached to my palm as well. And I tugged oh. on the. That is. That sounds like Omega Oof, dude. Like. It turns on the stitches and I'm in slight pain. God, God Twitter, mind what? But God Twitter, why must you be so garbage? God, why hit? God, why did you for me? That's o that's okay if you're not good at English, Lim. You can just watch StarCraft. You don't see it much on YouTube because, like, you know, this is an old game, so, like, only, only, only the old people play it, right? Yeah, like you, Mikey. Like me. I just take it at this point. No, go away! No. Oh my god. Someone, uh, so Kedeker said that for anyone curious, the time it took me to 106% crash for was 68 hours. That's depressing. Dedication, but depressing. What's with all these ultralists? Like, go away! Whoops. I think I think I think that just I think that just goes to show how hard fucking completely Crash Four is. You get a dedication, but the person. Look at this, like ten right. ultralisks or some crap. Like, go away! Uh, like, 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 I think Crash Four is a really great game. But fuck, one hundred percent completing that game is a fucking nightmare. I believe it. I lose your sanity one on one. Play Crash. That's how you do it. Yeah, especially the old ones. Yeah, I, I used to, I used to love the old ones. Play Insane Trilogy. Play Nitro Fueled. Oh my gosh, I gotta fight with this. My, my armies are pretty damaged. But yeah. Lim, glad you're here. Don't you have the remastered version? I'm too cheap to pay for it. <laughs> Mikey Rogue. Bruh. Bruh, guess. Come on. <laughs> What? He said, really excited for Legendary Dimitri, and it's just fucking quiet with an eye patch. I'm skipping that banner. Yeah! That banner is not for me. I'm not a big fan of Dimitri. Also, I gotta save for Claude. <laughs> That's me throwing myself out the window when Claude comes. Ouch. I was gonna say, did this court kick me again, or you guys can no. hear me? No, 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 I can hear you right now. <laughs> I'm blaming everything on Discord. That's, that's sound. 
Oh my goodness. Are we seriously out? Well, we could be in huge trouble here. Say, I catch me throwing myself out a window when Legendary Claude happens. <laughs> what the hell is this? What the hell is this? I swear to God, if he ends up being trash, I'm gonna kill someone. Not really. Go ahead, Commander. This should be good. Oh, we're in not in good shape here. I'm just wondering how they're gonna make fail not work. Okay, we better we better do that again. I'm gonna put you right here. A part of me is hoping that they don't do the whole oh when he's you're an ally. Because come on man, you already did that. That's the feeling that's the feeling I have of how they're gonna go about it though, because that just kinda makes sense. With Claude. Well, yeah. Yeah, because oh yeah, friendship scales the wall, friend, the, the friend the, the friendship the power of friendship. Friendship is magic. Like, magic. Like, like, what if like he's legit, like it's something like if he's within two spaces of an ally, he he gets he would, like poke in that counter attack. Yeah. I'm just hoping for that would be good. Are you serious? I'm just hoping. No, not 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 here. Like... Also, a lot of people seem to be like really confused about atrocity. Atrocity's good. No, like people are saying, like it's it's like it's skin scale. Yeah, but like better on every level. It's so good. It, it, it's not it's not skin scale though. It's draconic aura. Yeah, that that's a more accurate. Draconic aura was good. Well, yeah, right. See the see the thing is, like the wording is different. See with skin scale it. It, um, well, the the basic gist of it is that like you're correct. The um, brain fart. Atrocity has like draconic aura because it does the boost damage as opposed to like steals damage. No, it boosts damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no, so it, 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 it boosts. It, it, uh, but like the wording matters because like. Like deals damage means true damage, whereas boost damage. Yeah, is a is draconic aura. Is yeah. I'm still wondering what I'm gonna do for my spark summon. Get another Sedith or get another flame. The fact you have both is pretty good. Yeah. Oh, I got crap. super lucky with flame. Like I thought I wasn't gonna get her, and I thought I was gonna have to spark summon or some shit. That's pretty good though. That you got. Also, to, an also to, to anyone, to anyone who decides to give him like close call or spurn or something like that, uh, adaptive damage is multiplicative, not additive. <laughs> my my flame is also plus speed. So she has 30 speed, but I gave her attack and speed push, so she gets plus seven. She has, she, so she has 37 yeah! speed. What the heck is what that? What the heck? <laughs> Don't ask. I'm asking anyways. Shiny, what's going on back there? <laughs> what's going on? My brother got a mosquito that was, that's was been biting him for the past two weeks. I don't think I'm gonna react like that. <laughs> That's well, quite- that's quite the reaction okay, for that. Well. Ouch. <laughs> I will admit, that is funny. But... Go ahead, Commander. Ride on. This should be good. Same. I- I, I really- Same. I, that's, that's a mood. Cause they fucking hate mosquitoes. I mean, mosquitoes are just annoying. Go ahead, don't go extinct, please. I see no reason to keep them. Anytime you're ready. And fleas! Fleas can die too. Don't forget wasps. Wasps, wasps aren't that bad, unless you bother them. Wasps are good. So, most of the time, yeah. your existence bothers them. <laughs> It's just like, you, ex you exist! I, it bothers yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> if you breathe, God. it bothers them. 
And that's mosquitoes in a nutshell. If you have blood, oh no. Gotta get out of here. I gotta get in there. I hate shoes. <laughs> what? Thank you. I died. But yeah, can mosquitoes and fleas please go like extinct? I see no reason to keep them. They don't serve any purpose. They're just there to be annoying. Go ahead, Commander. Uh, oh my, Mikey. Yes. Uh, Ga Gas made a Gas made a video about hilariously dumb recruitments in Fire Emblem. Oh yeah. Uh -oh. And who's who's on the list? Uh. That's cool. Let's. Oh yeah. Uh, Roger from Shadow Dragon. Yeah. Okay, so when you say dumb recruitments, is it like? They're dumb because of the nature of the recruitment, or like... They're, d they're dumb in the sense of the reason why they join your the party. Oh, okay, because there's different, like... There's different kinds of dumb, I was thinking, for a second there. What's yeah, the like... dumbest you can think of? Receiving headquarters. Well, that depends on, like... Man's literally betrayed. Man's literally betrayed his own country because he wanted. Because he wanted that state Yeah, it's a. It's not a good reason to leave your homeland. I want that Shida Kuchi. I mean, I get that she's super hot and all, and I would rate her as like one of the most beautiful women in Fire Emblem. But it ain't worth it. that. That ain't worth. That ain't worth ditching my home. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Cheetah also kind of like, <laughs> like, kind of just leading them on a bit, like. Oh yeah, we've talked about this so many times about how like, <laughs> Cheetah is yeah. actually kind of a thought. Yeah. Do you believe in love? <laughs> no, no, I don't. <laughs> like she is kind of a thought, so. I think. My opinion on who is a beautiful woman in Fire Emblem would have to be Ninian. Ninian is also very high on that list. Yeah. Also, she, also, he, has, he, has plenty of, he has plenty of people from like genealogy in Thracia. For stupid recruitments? Yeah. Uh, I believe that. A lot of them do stupid I, crap. I don't, I, don't, I don't know how do you pronounce his name, but Yoker? Yeah, what about him? Yeah, he's on the list. Go ahead, Commander. I don't remember his reasoning, but I assume it's really dumb. Um, he's, he's basically ahead, his Commander. recruitment just involves him flirting with like Larce. A lot of dudes in Fire Emblem join because they flirt with one of the female characters. Like, <laughs> there's a lot of them on the. There's a lot of them you could say are like that. Are you serious, guy? Like, come on. There. Okay, I'm gonna need the other. I'm gonna need a Dark Templar over here. Uh, this, uh, Azel, Azel is there. How does he join again, Azel? He's just like, yeah, I'm gonna, just because. He doesn't have much of a reason. Let's just go with that. And, and then apparently, apparently in his support conversation with Lex, he's like, yeah, no, that. That's like, nah, we know, I know why you're here. Alien and frequencies open. <laughs> and and it, he's, like, he's like, I know why you're here. It's Lady Adeen, isn't it? I mean, Lady Adeen is super hot, so I mean, <laughs> I can see why he ditched his home for that. Go ahead, Commander. He's like, see you home. What do you want? Oh. I'm, a, I'm gonna be a simp now. That's like yeah, that's like half, that's like half the recruitment's in Fire Emblem, to be honest. Be a home, I'm gonna be a simp now. And then and have then these like, guys just ditch in their home because they're like, hey, I met this really attractive woman. Bye. Speaking, speaking of Lex, <laughs> I met this really attractive woman who I'll never be with because she ends up being in love with someone else. Yeah. Be oh, a home. <laughs> this one, this, oh, uh, this one, this one, you're definitely gonna be like, yeah, that's definitely a dumb recruitment. Oliver from Radiant Dawn. Yeah, 
He's he simps over Herons. <laughs> he's like the old. The... He's the ultimate Heron simp. So like. <laughs> I love the fact that when you get Oliver, I think it's Oliver. Yeah, Ike is yeah. like, can you go? Ike back? is like, go, go away! Like, I don't want you here. He's like, he's like, he's like can you, can you rejoin the enemies, please? Because Ike's like, I'm not dealing with this. Deal with this simp. Anytime you're ready. I just want to save my friends. I don't want to deal with this simp. This, and then, and then Lex is also on the list because. But he's only, he's only there to to what to protect his own, basically. Oh my his homie. gosh! He's only he's only he's only fighting in the war for his homie. Finally, not a simp. Unless his homie is a girl. No, is it? I don't know these characters. Don't judge me. Oh, Homer from Thracia Seven Seven Six. Also, stupid reason I can see that. <laughs> stupid reason. He made Nana cry, and he's just like, uh, oh. I feel like uh, shit. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm joining you. <laughs> I made this woman cry. I'm a join. He made like, like he was being so horny towards Nana that she that 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 he made Nana cry, and he's just like, well, now I feel bad. I guess I'll just join the fight now. I'm gonna slap the shit out of this person. <laughs> Homer, Homer, Homer is so funny. Like, I've never actually played Thracia. Thracia is like the only final game I haven't played. But I don't, I don't, I don't know how to feel that he was so horny for one person that he ends up making that person cry. I never heard that before. <laughs> to be fair, that's a lot of a lot of guys do that in real life. So like. Yeah, but I, I mean, I'm horny for one person, and then they end up making them cry. I mean, I mean, it, it is. I mean, it is Nana. <laughs> yeah, she's also one of those characters. I would say, like, she's actually super beautiful. But like, it is Nana. Nana? Uh, no. Oh, you no, gotta no, be no, kidding no. me! Sorry. <laughs> Continue. Okay, where's this asshole defiler? I, I want you dead. I did. I'm not. I don't like that. That was seriously not I want nice. Blood. I'm out for blood. I'm coming for you. Alright. Let's go find this dumb thing. I made a girl cry. I'm gonna join uh, your army. <laughs> Geats from Blazing Sword is there. Yeah, he's. He, he's like, he's like, I am bored. I guess I'll just join you guys. <laughs> Wasn't Geats added in Heroes? Yeah, he was on the pirate banner. Oh yeah. The no, geese. I never got anybody. No, no, no. That, that, that's geese. Oh, I'm sorry, geese. Yeah, sorry. Fucking geese. Geese is for FE7. Yes, sir. Who? He's he he's he basically joins your he basically joins your army because he's fucking bored. Yeah. I mean, I would too. I'm bored. I want something to do. Some of those front lines. <laughs> Actually, don't do that. Stupid defilers. That is seriously not nice. Uh, continue. Ste Stefan from Path of Radiance. Yeah, is a hey, you're a Lagoose. I'm a. I'm kind of curious. I'll join you. That's not that bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, at least it's not outright simping, you know. Yeah, Oliver. Yeah, Oliver. <laughs> And then, and then the funniest part is like when Ike's like, "What? Who are you? How long have you been a member?" <laughs> I've been a member for three months. He's like, "Oh, I've been here for a while, just checking you guys out." Is Who it? are you? <laughs> Who are you? People? <laughs> just Ike with some random guy in his crew. Like, "Who are you people? Who are you people?" <laughs> Get out of my house! Get out of my army! Who are you? I almost died there, oh my Ooh. goodness. Alright, we, we, we already mentioned Oliver, the Heron Sim. Oh, it's taking me so long to do anything in this map. I bet. Tired of these dumb I'm kind of a... And then, 
What? And then the last, and then the last one is from. Like, it, it's from this really, really weird, like, Famicom Fire Emblem game. Which is... Uh... Oh, man! I don't really you mean know. like a- you mean like a fan hack, basically, cause like- Uh, B- B- no, 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 B- uh, B-S-F-E. Oh. What? Like, like... I've heard of it, but I don't know exactly what that is. So who is it? Uh, like, uh, I'm not really good at it. Describing things, but like... I've heard of BSFE, but I don't think I've actually like played it or anything like that. Ship weapons, please. Trying to throw you out but the window. Who's the character? Uh, like, but like, um, BSFE is like ba was basically like this this four four chapter long Fire Emblem so game that was only playable through limited times because like it was broadcasted. I've heard about this. Okay, I'm sick of these hydralists showing up from this side, so I'm gonna build another bunker. Actually, no, that's not a good idea, because uh, this base has almost had it. Okay, so... Uh, what? Bro. Bike over here. Bike. Oh, it's called a bike. vulture? I call it the bike, because it's a guy riding a motorcycle. So, bike. Oh. It's called a bike now. I don't make the rules. <laughs> It's bike now. So <laughs> it's bike now. Through vulture. It's bike. Okay, so it's fro it's frost, malice, and dice. No so idea who that is, but go on. Basically, basically how they're recruited is you wait. You after like you just wait. Like after a certain amount of time, the characters just become automatically recruit. They're just automatically on your team. What? Just. Like, like, you have to wait 30, you have to wait 30 minutes, <laughs> like, in real time. Are you fucking serious? I'm fucking, I'm dead ass. I'd kill myself. I know that's not like an hour, but it's like... It's a while. I would have been taking a 30 minute nap then. Yeah, they, they, you just wait 30 minutes in real life, and then they, they, and then they boop. Now they're allies. That is dumb. That's <laughs> <laughs> what I was trying to say before. I'm kind of upset that we can see Flame's ears, but we can't see Seth's ears. <laughs> Show me your ears, Dragon Man. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, load. Okay. Apparently they're apparently they're in the remake of Shadow Dragon. So, Who? So, uh, Ma Maris Frost and the other guy I forgot about. Oh, meh. Uh, and then and then of course the best the best recruitment combo. The tutorial night. <laughs> the tutorial night. <laughs> yes. Good, good sir, Knight. Will you join me on my quest? Sure, I'm tired of being green anyway. It ain't easy being green. Yeah, it's easy being green. Who wants to stay green anyway? Nobody. I want to see set of ears. The only way I can see his ears is a fucking. Uh, I forgot what the book is called. Are you serious? We're gonna build another one of these because it's jerk blew up my observer. Oh yeah. Yeah. Fine, be that way. Oh yeah. This is Jimmy. Oh, the art book. There you go. I have. The only way I'll see Shadow's ears is from the art book. <laughs> How was that? Like, what was the that? only way I can see his ears. Yeah, it's from the art book. Because his heroes didn't want to make him show his ears. And I'm kind of sad. No ears. 
No I ears for you. I want to see the pointy man. I want to see the dragon man's pointy ears. You can see flames. Man, yeah, it's a nice touch where you can see his ears. Damn it. I mean, I don't think Cherry wants you to know that you can have a dragon in this though. I don't give a damn. I want to see it. Game's like, no. You see your ears, Dragon Man. Oh, what? Are you serious? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like it either. I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> uh, nothing important to worry about it. I, I, I don't like it, Jimbo. That ain't it. That ain't it, Chief. That ain't it, Chief. That ain't it, Chief. I like how I just realized my heater is on because I was looking at it stupid for like a few hours due to the fact that I can smell it being on, but I don't feel it being on. But now it's on. of the Dark Souls, I think it was Dark Souls or Bloodborne video of uh, this guy wearing like it, it was like this fuck this freaking guy that was wearing um a type of helmet and when he went down the stairs all you could hear is the helmet hitting the the ladder. He went down the ladder and all you could hear is the helmet hitting the ladder. I will commit genocide. I oh, swear come on. to God. Ugh. Why you gotta do stupid crap like that, Science Pro? Because they feel like it. They want to probe you. Clearly! Wait. That ain't right. Look at all these hydralists just hiding there. Right on. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Anytime you're ready. Go ahead, Commander. This is Jimmy. Anytime you're ready. This is Jimmy. Go ahead, Commander. Jill have her father? That should be good. I don't have a Jill, but I'm planning to kill her once I get her. But I don't know what she means. So what does she have again? The the speed defense Ryan and uh, her attacks push four thingy, which is really good. I'm just gonna kill her for this uh, defense and speed. I want that for my setup. The what? The uh, speed defense Ryan or the uh, push? The Ryan. I want that for my setup. I can, I can, if I, I can. get one. I almost died there. What the hell? Why do these guys do so much damage? Because why not? It's like the game hates me. <laughs> the game doesn't hate you, Mikey. It's just RNG. Okay, I better save here, actually. Alright, we're gonna do a mass repair project. I totally forgot about forging bonds because I already finished getting all the orbs. Uh huh. Oh, I, 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 I did all the forging bonds already. 
Aren't you lucky? <laughs> well, I did like my sweet time with it though. Like I was when I was like playing De Dead by Daylight with Burke yesterday, and it was yeah. like I was just doing some uh, forging bonds on the side. And he's like, "Oh, you're still doing that?" It's like, "Yeah." <laughs> Just nice and slow, nice and easy. The, re the issue with me with forging bonds is that I don't want to put the accessories on, because... Understandable. And then it, that makes it take so much longer. Yeah. I, I, I understand. It's completely understandable. Right, I'm happy I... with the accessories my units have. Okay. AKA the gold accessories for, from uh, the Abyssal Battles. Mm -hmm. Only my favorite units gets the Abyssal Battle accessories. Yeah, I'm going. Oh wait, Bike, you stay I'm here. Only my bitches. Only my bitches get the accessories. Need a stick. Bitches love sticks. <laughs> and sticks. Uh. <laughs> Another battle cruiser, yeah, please. <laughs> Could always Becky, use I got more... stick. Let me smash. More battle cruisers, please. Go ahead, Commander. Brainer here. Brainer here. Uh, so, so many people are leaving the server. This is a bit off topic. But, you, know. you know, I was talking with this with Burke a little bit yesterday, and I mean, part of it is that like, Go ahead, and we we're actually talking about this because you and uh, Glue. Yeah. And mid, we're having a chat in IRL, and then like, Glue said something pretty inappropriate. This is Jimmy. And then you guys like, were reprimanding him for a bit. And basically, I'm like, I, but the the fact of the matter is, is that like, sometimes guys like mid, and I even called out, I even kind of poked fun and called out mid a, a bit. And I was like, you know, sometimes like people just need a break from people in the server and they leave. Like that's yeah. that's why mid laughed for temporarily. Yeah. And then mid was like, "Oh, I can't only being called out like that." I was like, "Well, you were my example, and you just got to deal with it." <laughs> All right. I hate how like. Oh. Yeah. So they just kind of need time away from us, honestly. And when I say us, I mean like the server as a whole. Like. It's, it's not pers- I mean, part of it is personal, but it's not- At least I like to think I'm not part of the problem. <laughs> I hope I'm not part of the problem, I feel like I am. <laughs> but like- I'm probably part of the problem. <laughs> I know for a fact- Well, it's not like they're watching this stream anyway. But like, I know for a fact Glue is part of the problem. Uh, Turk- Turk is part of the problem. And, a, and like a couple of those other guys that just like to say dumb shit all the time. Good day. Yeah, like and, me. Well, okay, you're not that you're not that bad. You're pretty light in comparison. But like Glue's pretty bad sometimes when he's just like taking his jokes a little bit far, or whatever. And he says yeah, basically I, dumb shit, like really dumb shit. I, like I uh, I am very in your face. <laughs> That's a little different though. Like I'm pretty in your face, and of course I'm heavily opinionated. But like that doesn't kick pe that doesn't make people leave. Right, like. All right. So it's. It, I know it's not exactly my place. It's not exactly my place to call out people like that. But at the same time, it's like, this is why people are leaving. Like it's very funny because like. Okay, this is so stupid. Like I like how like. How I am online is like nothing like how I am IRL. <laughs> I mean, because you're behind a screen, and like... Well, one of the problems, and this is like, in general, it's not just like, like Burke's Discord, that's but like, in general, where it's like, if you're on a, if you're behind a screen, half the time you can't tell if someone's being sarcastic. Yeah, that's the issue with... Like, and that, that can be a big problem, right? Okay, let me just yeah. put you back here. I have that zealot here, get over here. This is Jimmy! This is Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. I love Jim. Ra I love Jim Rayner. He's such a great character in StarCraft. He's such a badass, honestly. So, what were you saying, Shiny? 
Yeah, go ahead. Like, cut you off there. Like when it when it, like when I say like I'm not like how I am online, like that's not to mean like oh I'm being fake and shit. But so, but yeah. sometimes you got but sometimes you gotta know when to like tone stuff down. And that's where like some of the guys in our server don't know how to do that. Like it's one reason it's one reason why I hang around you guys and stick around too, where it's like, okay, as the adult I have to be the mature one around here and act like it and be an example of maturity. What's maturity? <laughs> no, I'm joking. I can be mature, but I just don't want to at times. Well, at times it's okay to turn it off. Like, when I roast the shit out of Burke sometimes, like, that's me turning off the maturity. But there's a time where, like. Turn off the brain. But there's. Well, I wouldn't say turning off the brain. I, I like to think my jokes require some thinking power. But. No, jokes require zero thinking power. No, I'm joking. It requires a lot of thinking power. Like, sometimes, I think that's one of the things where, like, and Burke is so used to it at this point, he knows how to catch him. Sort he's, of. He's learning. <laughs> sort of, he's sort of. So. Oh, hello? Especially that one time. Oh my god. Okay, too far. I hate this guy. Fuck you, Wu Chang. Gotcha. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Stop bullying me! No, bully him! All the Stop! Leon, I'm gonna kill you for killing Flame. Oh, fuck. Okay. That was a bad move on my part. You're a bad move. Your point? <laughs> It's like, I already know that. Also, Baruka so somewhat understands jokes. Yeah. Somewhat. But I like to think because... my, my dry humor and like my ability to hide them pretty well. Oh, this motherfucker's camping I me. I say sometimes because I call really? him. Really? Oh, you're, you're Wow, this motherfucker is just camping me and then he decides to hit me while camping me. What an ass. Yeah, I, I say sometimes because I called him a boomer once and he got upset at me. Even though I tease everyone, but apparently... No, no, please don't tunnel me, you fucking asshole! Don't turn me into a marketable plushie! Please, please, Sega, don't turn me into curry. Ew. <laughs> Wait, stop the curry doesn't exist, does it? Holy wow, I think I'm finally safe from what? I like curry, but that curry is disgusting. No, no, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. No. Fuck you. Oh my god, this fucking new chain is being Ugh, science vessel, stop doing dumb crap like that. I'm breaking free. No, come on, I should have broken free. Get the fuck out of here. Do you speak Japanese? No. I hate this Not game. you, Mikey! I hate this fucking... I hate this game. I was kind of referencing the damn you speak Japanese, because I had to oh. get it off my chest. Why do you speak Japanese? <laughs> like, You're kidding. Ugh, oh, I hate this guy. What are you doing? Like, what are you playing? Yeah. Shiny, what are you playing? Uh, I'm surprised you're not playing Genshin Impact. Okay, any of you guys got any more of your Mado laser energy? I there don't. you go. Uh, okay, you're assuming my phone can contain the memory for that. You played it on your phone? I thought that was your computer. Playing what? Genshin Impact. I love how Genshin Impact is getting to the point where no one plays it anymore. I know, my brother stopped playing already. <laughs> and he's already sunk in like almost 100 hours in it. Oh, yeah. oh, you... I knew this was gonna happen. Well, I think the problem oh, is that like... Hmm? I think the problem is that like, they weren't quick on putting new content. Especially when they already had like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. No, not the science vessel. That's the side vessel, I don't know what it is. But yeah, that's where I say good build. Sounds fun. 
Me. Like. Like. I'm usually only like. Because I have been very. Like, you guys know me. I'm very like. Loud. What are we talking about? I thought we were talking about Genshin Impact. Uh, yeah, I thought we were talking about Genshin Impact. I mean, well, the game. Well, the game's probably dead, I don't really. Uh, Loud. Like you guys, like you guys, you guys have been around me for a while. You know, I like, yeah. Uh, before I do this, like I, like IRL, I'm usually like way more reserved than I am. And that's pretty normal with a lot of people, because it's one of those things that people forget the power of the internet can do. Is that like it can really give people confidence boosts. Not to say that you're not confident, but like I'm not confident. <laughs> <laughs> but in real life, like in normal life, if you will, we tend to like not think we can like I don't know carry ourselves in a way that's just like oh I can do whatever. <laughs> okay, you go this way. Do I have another observer, or do I have to literally bring that thing all the way around? I need to recharge my lasers anyways. Alright. You! Come! Alright, you first. Because this guy's pretty damaged. I should save, because I made a fair amount of headway there. Yeah, save. It'd be sick if I could end this stream on beating this level, because I'm actually playing the last level of the original StarCraft, and then there's Brood War, which we'll start next week. But Brood War is going to be insanely hard, like... Uh, it's going to be tough. That's all I can say. Come on, you. Move faster. Excuse me, Mr. Sim Cowboy. You are clipping through the table. Go ahead, Commander. No. Oh, oh my god. I'm so far out of Vespian gas. Anytime you're ready. Good day, Commander. And the stupid science vessel have to blow up. Useless. Whatever, I'll just bring a regular Our observer. Receiving transmission. Perry turn to. You know what? Wow, there's a lot. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in this base, but I kind of don't want to plant myself in the middle of the enemy base. Plant did yourself you in the middle of the enemy base, anyways. What did you did you get turned into a rubber ducky? Oh, yeah. Good did day. I? Did you? Did I? Battle did you? cruiser operational. I don't know. Engage. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, Mr. Krabs. Okay, <laughs> 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 next take out this thing. The oh, there's the Overmind. You can kind of see it on the map here. It's kind of hard because I only have it like partly revealed, but that's the thing I have to kill. And I don't remember if you have to kill it with Zeratul. No, it just says destroy the Overmind. <laughs> I'm still laughing about the whole... I, the whole... a uh, confident thing. What? <laughs> what you said and then I responded with, I'm not confident. Get out of here, you stupid hydralisk. Anyway, uh, For a final level, this one's not as bad as I... Well, that's because you get, like... You get to use the Terran, and I just love using battle cruisers, honestly. What about the bikes? I hope this lucky uh, he guy just, dies. He just kind of hangs out here. I finish this with factory units. I mean, if you're that good at the game, more power to you, but I'm not good at this game, so I have to use battle cruisers. <laughs> Holy mass, in honor of Our Lady of the Rosary. What the fuck is this? I don't know. Only air units? Well, the funny thing, uh, Lim, was that in old school StarCraft, 
I think because they didn't, like, make armor typing, which is a thing that happened in Warcraft 3 a lot, was something called armor typing. And armor typing was basically different units had different types of armor. So... Where... Where... Where are these fucking peepers? So anyways, these, uh... These armor types no, had different... I that out is because I have a lot of stream right Have, a uh, Different... The different armor types have different weaknesses. So, in... Like, Warcraft 3, for example, flying units had a weakness to, like, archers. And so... In Warcraft, like fire emblem. No. In, in Warcraft, you can't just mass up on flyers. But StarCraft, this was not a problem. Honestly, you just mass up on, like, battle cruisers, put some Wraith in for, like, anti-air missiles, and you're, like, set. <laughs> and that's basically how I plan on, like, I don't even need Wraith right now, because... Speaking of which, where are they? Oh, I got one over here. I'm like, where is my other one? Did he die? And I didn't notice? He died. That is sad. Die. You dare bring light to my lair? You must die. Okay, I need a lot more Vespine gas. Uh, let's build a couple more carriers. Well, there's a live stream, like in the recommendations. This is Holy Mass in honor of Her Lady of the Rosary. Well, probably because, like, my one of my tags is, like, religion, right? So that's very possible why that's the case. Probably. Even though I'm not Catholic. Go ahead, <laughs> Apparently I am. Because, like, Lady of the Rosary, I'm like, that's a Catholic thing. Apparently I am Catholic, I just found out, like, a few you can't, weeks ago. You can't, you can't be, like, born into a religion. If just because, like, oh, your family may have a Catholic background, that doesn't really, like, make you, make, make you Catholic. That's what my parents said. <laughs> well, well, that's because, like, I'm, I'm so... So the Christian, okay, the, the Christian group, the Christian group that I'm a part of, we call it the Evangelical Free, and the Evangelical Free is part of something called Believers Church. And the idea of Believers Church is, as the name suggests, you're only a really a Christian because you believe, as opposed to like some groups are more like your religion is based on like family or you were like born into it or whatever. Yeah. But Believers Church, we don't believe that. I don't believe, we, I don't be believe the whole, uh, we believe the whole religion thing. Like, well, that's whatever the fuck my parents said. Well, sure, but like, basically, in the church tradition I'm a part of, the evangelical, we we believe in believers, believers baptism, and that's yeah. the idea that like, I'm a Christian because I believe, as opposed to like, oh, I'm part of a religion because I'm born into it. <laughs> to contrast, like you think of. Um, Hindu tribes, like various parts of Hinduism. Well, that's not even accurate because a Hindu would tell me would tell you like, well, there's no one Hinduism. There's like thousands of Hinduisms. But besides the point, basically, to differentiate yourself among the thousands of Hinduisms is by. Oops. Um. Ping me! Stop pinging me! Someone just messaged me on Facebook. I should probably check it. Facebook? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a boomer. Mikey, it's time to get up with the time. It's time to change. I'm t no, I'm I had like a Twitter account, but I don't use it. <laughs> people, people still use Facebook. <laughs> you mean people still use MySpace? <laughs> I'm not that ancient. <laughs> not to use MySpace anyways. Ah, that was so satisfying. All right, where's that spore Tom. colony? Because we gotta blow it up. Tom, Tom's probably still using MySpace. Who's Tom? <laughs> oh crap! You don't remember that meme? Where's Tom from MySpace? Are you serious, guy? Like, get back! I don't. I don't believe the. Whole, I, I'm not, I don't. I don't want to be a part of any religion. As long as it's like, it's, I don't want to deal with those issues. Well, I mean, to each their own. But at the same time, like, the word. Okay, so the reason why when you say that statement that irks me sometimes, and I understand what you mean, but at the same time, the wording bothers me at times, because. 
There's religious. Whoops. Are you gonna be shitting me? Okay, so anyway, uh. There's like organized. Okay, I understand that a lot of people don't want to be quote unquote an organized religion. Because organized religion in general has an ugly history. Any background. Any background. Yeah. Um. And so. Understandable. But at the same time. Sorry if I worded it like. No, no, the, the, the reason why is because I guess part of the linguistical nerd in me is like the word religious can have such a broad application because I believe that like everybody has quote unquote a religion. Yeah. Right? And it doesn't have to be quote unquote a organized religion. Yeah. And that's what I mean. Go, no. Don't. Uh. So me. when you say like, oh, I'm not real, like, for example, when some people say, oh, I'm not religious, that is actually a false statement because in, 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 in layman's terms, basically, the basic definition of religion is that you devote your life to something. Whatever that is, you know, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but like... So does that mean? So does that mean gaming is technically a religion? Oh no doubt, it is the modern. It is one of the big modern religions, if you if you will. Right? Because now I can see the now I can really see the issue of like. But hopefully you know what I mean. And yeah, yeah, no, I, I understand I that like with... a lot of people don't want to be part of like organized religion, and you know, like I said earlier, organized religions in general have like so much stigma because like. Every every organized group has done something truly idiotic to like tarnish their own names in the books of history, and I understand yeah. that that's completely understandable. But at the same time, I'm just also one of those like technical nerds where it's like technically everybody's religious. <laughs> yeah, but you know what I mean. But I know I know what you mean. I mean, I did a mass. My master's degree was basically like analyzing text and literature. So, oh, you dirty rat! Oh, <laughs> but like I tried to move my rat liquor. I tried to move my I tried to move my guy fast enough, but it didn't work. Oh, oh yeah, rat liquor. You dirty rat liquor. I gotta kill. I gotta kill all these guys. If it is an offensive word, I apologize. Uh, Look at this! Why are there so but, many of these things? I don't know if people get what you mean by that. Uh, Lim! Lim! Um, he says I don't have a religion. Um, but this is exactly what I was talking about just earlier where it's like, once again, everybody does, but I understand when you say you don't have a religion and what you're referring to is like organized religion. And like I said, understandable, because okay. organized religions have done a lot of things to tarnish themselves in the past, and you just kind of have to deal with it. Oh, by the way, we're going to finish. Let's say... Uh, huh. uh, so quick thing, we're gonna, rat, we're gonna rat liquor means someone who doesn't wear a mask. Ready? Die over mind is the save. That's what a rat liquor is. If you don't wear yeah, a mask all the time, you're a rat liquor. Basically, the term came from, like, you know, people don't wear a mask are equivalent to people who lick rats during the bubonic plague. <laughs> yeah. Interesting analogy. But, uh, Shh, guys! Before people are, like, being we got some voice- we got some voice acting. I will steer the Gandrithor into a collision course with the Overmind. If I can channel enough of the Dark Templar's energy through the hull of the Gandrithor, I should be able to bring swift death to the accursed abomination. Remember us, Executor. Remember you drinking soda? Here today. Yes. Put that down. Basically, Tassar did nothing no. the whole map, but... <laughs> that is the end! I beat the original StarCraft. Nice. Yeah, yeah boy. Oh, yeah. Basically just using just basically using the Terran units because honestly they're they're the better group. <laughs> just massing up battle cruisers is how I beat this map. <laughs> uh. Also, freaking legendary Dimitri has a conversation with Anna 
where he sends him to horny jail. <laughs> Anyways, I gotta do a bit of voice acting. So, zip it for a sec. Yeah. I've met a Mormon missionary. There's a lot of them. So have I. I've debated them. Because I get... I get off on debating, like, Jehovah Witnesses and Mormons. <laughs> I'm, I'm weird like that, okay? I get off on, like, debating them. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm gonna do narrate the ending of the original StarCraft, so here we go. I think I found my most favorite video. What? I'm gonna post something voice related. Yeah, yeah, sec. If Discord would stop breaking for one. Tassadar's like, well, here's the end, guys. Please enjoy this video. I love it so. That's the face of determination right there. has been destroyed. <laughs> Epilogue. As the chaotic swirling energy subside, a heavy silence settled over the battlefields of ire. Due to Tassadar's noble sacrifice, the Overmind was now dead, and the Zerg swarms were scattered and broken. But as the heroes surveyed their once glorious homeland, they realized that their victory had cost them all but their lives. Ire was left nothing more than a smoldering ruin. Oh, Ah, and far away in the distant planet Char, Kerrigan, the self-styled Queen of Blades, knew that the time of her ascension was at hand. Ah, uh, why does the narration always go so fast? Like, it goes faster than I can read it. <laughs> Kerrigan. It goes faster than how my mind could process that. Look at that, 1998. Cool. So, some of you guys weren't even alive then. <laughs> 1998? Yeah, I was, I was a smirk. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at the time, it's like 5.40. It's good it's button, well, for me. Oh <laughs> boy. So, uh, as Lim was saying, he met a Mormon missionary five years ago at Seoul. I'm sure there's a lot of them. Because Mormonism's big everywhere. You looks like a good guy. Thank you. I like to think I am. <laughs> you are a good guy. Anyway, so my... Just to talk a little bit of StarCraft here. Uh, this is a game. I'm. I, it's one of those funny things where I play it as an adult now. And I'm like, how the heck did I beat this as a kid? Because some parts of this game were kind of tough. But I guess you were smart? I liked it, I guess! <laughs> I, I'm not saying you're, fu you're dumb. I'm just saying, like... I guess you're still smart. God. You were smart as a kid, you're still smart now. Oh, you got all these uh, voice actors, but uh, I can't recognize any of them because all these guys are like super old now, probably. <laughs> you gotta but, recognize them. Fucking... Well, I mean, this game is older than you, so. <laughs> yeah, but you never know. You never know. That's true. Like some of the, like some actors have been around for such a long time, but man, StarCraft as a game in general was always like, Okay, I don't know who any of these people are. I, I, I like the I, I kind of like the real time strategy, but I will admit that like, if you play games like, 
League of Legends or whatever long enough, like MOBAs, you Whoa. do you do notice that like you get like how do I put this? I've gotten a lot lazier. Yeah. For example, like when I was t playing this chapter, right? I only focus on the Terran side because I knew my micromanaging skills were not good enough to control both armies. I mean, if yeah. you play a MOBA, you only have to control one unit, which is pretty easy. <laughs> but here, you, when you got to control a whole army, I mean, let alone two whole armies, like I had to in that last map. But honestly, like the Protoss army kind of just was there for mining, really. And I did everything with battle cruisers. But <laughs> yeah. Um, the game, like real time strategies, still have that. I don't know. I still find them really enjoyable, even though, like, yeah, compared to games like the MOBAs, for example, it's real time strategy feels so much harder because of the amount of micromanaging. But at the same time, StarCraft is just so fun. Honestly, I had an idea a while back, but Blizzard really like shot themselves in the foot and then shot themselves in the other foot. Was uh, yeah. when when Blizzard they tried to do that Warcraft three remastered and it just flopped. Like it was so bad. <laughs> And they, you can tell, like, the, the, their quote-unquote efforts, if you can even call it that, were beyond, yeah. like, worse than half-assed. Like, I would have loved to have played Warcraft 3 again, but there's no way that, like... I mean, died. Let's run his back. But, uh, Warcraft 3 would be a fun one to do, eventually. Uh, because I'm gonna, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta play Brood War next, so... And that's gonna be pretty hard, because I've had... Uh, oh, it says, oh, it even does the Brood War cast, like it, the credits. Bubba boy. Because I, I, I thought it would just end with the original game, and then you have to beat Brood War to get this. But I mean, it's the same people anyway, so it doesn't really, does it really matter. But uh, yeah, that was, it took me seven episodes of Throwback Thursday so what's that times three hours so like 20 hours to beat regular starcraft and then like yeah. it's gonna take me another 20 at least to beat brood war because brood war is actually way harder mainly because of like they've they actually smarten up the ai Ow. in brood war where in brood war the enemy will actually build units consistently whereas in the regular game only like the weaker units are built consistently but like yeah. certain powerful units that the game knows that can exploit like for example like you know the and it's meant to be fair to the player right like someone as semi-skilled as myself can like okay i'm just gonna get a bunch of battle cruisers and beat the map but in brood war you can't easily do that because the game will be like oh we will also mass up battle cruisers if you try that and so brood war will have smarter ai like that so we'll see how well that goes. Um, I wish you luck, soldier. But, uh... I'm just gonna let the credits roll. I'm probably gonna end the stream after this. Because, I mean, I've already been on here for like, almost three hours. Oof. For 12 hours! I mean, the last, lo the last level alone took me like an hour and... And, and a half-ish? An hour and a half? Which is actually pretty fast. I thought this level would take me longer, but I mean, I guess I did. I guess I played it well enough, and I did have to like save scum a few fights. <laughs> like when I knew that yeah. Zerg rush was happening, I'm like, nope, load, go, put all my guys in formation, and prepare mm -hmm. for the Zerg rush. <laughs> um, but like in the original StarCraft, and this was like 1990s gaming programming, right? Like obviously programming has gone so far. And it like has advanced by so much to really make the AI smarter about certain things. But this is like 1998, and they already did a good job as it is. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, basically after this, I'm gonna end the stream. Just some scheduling things about how the upcoming week is gonna be. Of course, I will be like doing other work-related things quote-unquote but i have to sort out scheduling stuff with my buddy talkie for silent hill which yeah. is kind of the main project so i think the next time i'll be doing that with him will probably be monday 
I, I think Monday will be the next time I stream Silent Hill. But tomorrow, I will be doing a reading stream at the same time at 3 o'clock Pacific time. Right. If you guys are interested in that, I will. I actually haven't done reading streams for a couple of weeks. So I ha I'll have to do a fair amount of catch up in my own uh, reading. Oh, yeah. what? Are they really doing credits for the remaster? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So there will be a stream tomorrow at 3 o'clock Pacific time. It will be a reading stream. And then next week, I might try and do two Silent Hills. Next Thursday will be a throwback Thursday. And next Friday, we'll have another reading stream. So how it looks is Friday reading. The weekend, I will be... I usually don't stream on the weekends. Mainly because I hang out with another guy and his stream. Yeah. And then that's Saturday and Sunday. And then Monday might be Silent Hill. Wednesday might be Silent Hill. And then Thursday... Brood War. I'll start Brood War next Thursday. And then next Friday will be another reading stream. So that's kind of the week forecast of streams. Yeah. So that if you have... You know, if you guys are interested, I hope that you guys will come to that. I'm just waiting for these credits to end. And it'll go back to the home, sc the, the home screen. Ow. I don't want to click anything because I know that it'll just skip the credits. And that would just feel cheap. I'm hungry. <laughs> Well, I'm actually kind of hungry, too. I think Megamind is mad underrated. Hmm? Megamind is good. The movie? Megamind is yeah. Oh, it's so good. It's a really good movie. I think it's a I think it's a brilliantly done movie. It's not talked much about anymore because it's old. It sucked. Well, that's the re like a lot of things don't get talked about much anymore because they're old. This is why I do Throwback Thursday with Starcraft. <laughs> nobody <laughs> talks. Nobody talks about Starcraft anymore. Yeah, uh, it's a it's a it's a tre it's an old treasure. Lim is asking, how old am I? I am 32 years old. Yeah, Mikey's a boomer. I'm an old guy. But, like, and I've, if you watch my past videos, I talk about it. About how, like, when I first got into StarCraft, I was like... Well, I would have been 10 when the game came out. So I was about that age, and I had a buddy... That he was, like, two years older than me. He was, like, 12. And he, he got... he I would watch him play StarCraft a lot, because... My buddy... Uh, his name is Justin, and I knew Justin because... How do I explain this well? So, my parents and Justin's parents, they were part of this, like, home Bible study group. Yeah. And so, like, you know, they would do their Bible study thing, and the kids would just hang out together. Let and so... He, he was one of those people that you just wanted to talk to because you got nothing else to do. So you're just like, yeah, screw it. Yeah, but then, like... The cool thing is that he would play StarCraft, and I get to watch him play StarCraft, which was pretty cool. So yeah. that was kind of what got me started into StarCraft. And then I got my own copy. Lim is, Lim is 24. Lim is 24. So you're about the same age. Well, I'm trying to think of, like, in Baruka's server, he would be basically the... He would be, like, a little bit older than the bulk of, the, of you guys, because a lot of you guys are, like, 21 to 20, like... Well, I guess Mikey, 21 to 24. Mikey, we're the babies in this group right now. Well, yeah, like, you and Shiny are a little bit younger, but Burke's, like, 21... 22, actually. Burke's 22, I think? Ark is... 21 next year. Uh... <laughs> Burke is, like, 22, and then, like... I think Ark is, like, 21. Ark is 20... Ark is 21. Uh... Sega's, like, 23? And then, like... Oddly enough, like, I'm trying to think of people who are, like, around a lot so I can legitimately, like, say, okay, these guys. But, like, I would bring up, like, R is a certain, like, R is a little bit older, actually. 
Yeah. Ra Raul is actually the next oldest guy because he's actually only a year younger than I am. Yeah. Uh, and then who else is there? That's like about 20. I'm not trying to think of people in another server I hang out with, Lim. Uh, that's about your age. But there's not a lot of them, actually. Because everybody's about like 21, like you, for instance, Owl. I'm, 20. Like, I'm just 20. I'm turning 21 yeah. next year. A lot of people are like, you guys are all about the same age, like in your really early 20s slash late teens. Then we have like a few people that are a lot older, like Raul and myself are like the old guys. And then like, we have a bunch of people that are like, in that t like high school year still. So like still six, like 16, 17. <laughs> so I'm thinking like, for example, PK is like 16 now. No, she's 15 now. PK is 15. Uh, Glue is like 18. Eighteen. I thought he was like seventeen. He might be. He might still be seventeen. I thought he was eighteen, but he's like he's he's about that age. Uh, mid is sixteen. Like there's a lot. Like we have a interesting age range. But I mean, I'm just the exception, I guess. The old guy that <laughs> hangs yeah, around. My... I'm the old guy that hangs around. But so it's a, it's something funny. Just like. An old person hanging out with like a group of, a group of uh, younger people. Well, there's a there's actually, there's some couple of reasons why that's actually important though, and you know going back to what I believe, and something that I understand, and I I guess we can talk about this now. Something that, when for example, you know, Lim, you mentioned it, and Owl was talking about how like you know you guys don't have you know, an organized religion, if you will. And I totally get it. Okay, I totally get it. And the reason why is that, like, okay, what... Did, were there any... Was there anyone there to, like, kind of mentor you, if you will, or, like, be an example and a... This is a bad wording for it, but, like, was there someone there that could be, like, oh, you know what? Going to church is not a bad idea because there's at least cool people that are older that are like, you know, around, right? And yeah. I'm safe to bet that that number is probably zero <laughs> for like, you guys. Like, I, 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 like, like Mikey, you know, I, I, I go to it. I, I, you know, before the pandemic, like, yeah, I yeah, went yeah. to a church and I helped out. Yeah. I, like, I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not, not you, like, but I'm, I'm not. I'm, you're you're I'm you're like you're, you're part of the smaller statistic, but I'm talking about like a large stat <laughs> where like Owl fits into it, Burke would fit into it, uh, you know, Lim, this is probably true for you. You know, who have there been like older people that like, you know would be like, oh, you know, that's a guy a, a, an older religious person that's like, oh, he's not like that weird, like, oh the culty kind of stereotype, right? Yeah. And you don't have a lot of that. And I, I, I'll be the first to say it if you've never heard it from anyone else, but, you know, I wish more people would have been like out there and ministering to younger people. Because one, I believe, I believe that because the Bible one says it, right? In the book of Timothy, Paul instructs Timothy, who's like a younger guy who's going to basically become like, a successor if you will because paul is like this old ass guy at this point and so uh and he's basically gonna die in like a few years so paul paul basically tells timothy hey you got to take the charge and one of the passages he says you know tell old men to teach young men tell older women to teach younger women right in the faith where where is that in modern christianity you hardly see it and yeah. this is where i understand where a lot of younger people be like well i don't go to church why what for why bother right and i get it because like and of course there's another thing that my anecdote may not be the best example all right so you got to take this part with a total grain of salt but you know i've seen people in my own age group and how do i put it it's embarrassing <laughs> that that's the wait, word wait. i have hmm? off topic real quick how long are these fucking credits I don't know. This is this is way longer than I thought it'd be. I thought I thought I was gonna be done like five minutes ago. 
And I just, I just, I just bring up this anecdote because I got, you know, we're still waiting on this to end. But anyway, back to the anecdote. Yeah. So, like, I've known a lot of people that like, how do, okay, here's another example. Uh, another anecdote. So the church I used to go to before the pandemic screwed up everything. Yeah. When I was in high school, our youth group was like 15, 20 people. Not the biggest youth group, but this, it's not bad either. 15 to 20 people. That church now, I am the only person of my age group that is there. I am the only person in my early 30s. The like, only person in the early 30s that's at that church. The only person. Like, that's bad. Right? Like, where the hell did the rest of these guys go? Right? And then, from what I've, from what I've heard, is like, only two of them still go to church. One guy lives in Australia, though. And then the other guy is like... I think he lives in, like, North Van or something. Uh, which is, like, a suburb city. Well, no, it's actually the main... It's actually... Not the main city, because Vancouver's the... Excuse me, the main city. Uh, Lim, I'm not gonna skip it. Mainly because I'm actually gonna end the stream after the credits. I'm basically at the end. I'm just telling this anecdote. Because I think it would... I think it would be helpful to you guys, too. And partly why I do what I do. And so... You don't see a lot of, like... In other churches I've been to, I don't find a lot of people that are my age. Which is another interesting thing where, like, some people would bring up why I'm not married. It's, a, it's another good question that's always brought up. Where it's like, well, honestly, it's not a lot of people my age. And the people that are my age, they're not interested. Because, like... Now this part you got this is another part you gotta take with a grain of pepper now. Where Ew. where I've I know people my age that would claim to be Christians and I use that word precisely. Loosely. Um because like now I know some people would think I'm the one who's kind of like close minded, if you will, but I'm what you would call a more conservative person in my beliefs. Yeah. And I I meet people and they're my in my age group and they're a lot more liberal where they believe certain things that like, well, you wanna be you wanna be compassionate, I get that, but the Bible doesn't really give you leeway for this. Uh one example of this and please YouTube don't shoot me down. Um but like no it, no doubt it's gonna shoot me down. But like <laughs> A lot of Christians now, and you know, a good example is like the the Pope actually um, did like an affirmation of like, for example, same sex unions as he would use it. So when the Pope uses that wording, he's kind of prancing around the idea that like mm. he's not ex he's not exactly pro gay marriage, but at the same time, he's not against it either. Yeah. Whereas the traditional, more conservative view is that God made one rule and you should we should just go with the one rule and the one rule is one man one woman for marriage right that's kind of the rule and the reason for that of course like I don't just believe that because the Bible simply says it that way but of course there's a logical factor to it too because I like to think that my my faith life is also very intellectual and if you watch my reading streams I really take the Bible in a much more like analytical way because i think that's another disservice that a lot of christians do and another reason why a lot of people like you know you Lim, and owl don't believe and i don't blame you where like some people they a lot of other christians don't know the bible very well and they try to tell you something and then you ask them a tough question and they don't know jack shit right <laughs> so, <laughs> so yep and and so, this is something like if you watch my reading streams, I, I try to avoid that, right? Because I like to really think I intellectually really wrestle. But, you know, you have, going back to my anecdote, I know a lot of Christians, my age group, that are much more looser in some of their beliefs. And even if it may appear to contradict the Bible, they'll believe it. And then I would be being the more conservative when I say, like, well, no, that doesn't quite work. And then, of course, there's an impasse at that point, right? So, yeah, there's 
it, 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 you, you just become that meme where the guy is just talking to a brick, where he's just like with, at a brick wall, just like. <laughs> yeah, basically, I am that meme in a nutshell. A funny story, a funny thing I just want to bring up though, just to end the stream, because come on, we gotta be finished these credits soon. But like, uh, I already told Sh I already told Shining this story because we were talking about like, um, I don't know why we were talking about this actually, but. <laughs> I guess we were talking about like one of the problems of like modern modern Christians as well, and it, it's a, it's kind of an ironic story, and it's one of those things where like we see it happen in like celebrities that were like quote unquote they were Christian yeah. growing up and then they stopped being Christian, and it's this idea of like a lot of people that grew up in a church or grew up in a Christian family, and this is why like I believe in believers baptism because. Mm. This is where, like, if you grow up in a Christian home and then this kind of stuff happens, uh, you end up in a really dicey situation. So, you think of, like, a lot of celebrities and even a lot of people I watch on YouTube, ironically. Um, I watch a lot of people who, like, <laughs> deconvert, if you will. Like, they be, they're a Christian home, but then they become atheists or whatever, right? And yeah. something that's a, a common pattern, though, you can't really like quantify the statistics exactly but you know a lot of them would talk about how like oh you know i wasn't allowed to like watch certain tv shows growing up in the whole like christian bubble so like oh i couldn't watch certain tv shows or like you know play certain video games or whatever well most video games i had to play the bible game right <laughs> or stuff like that and I, for example, one of my buddies, I knew a guy who wasn't allowed to watch Lion King until, what? like, he he became an adult. Well, because his family was like, oh, it's, you know, as Christians, we can't really watch it. It's got, like, shamanism and stuff in it. It's, it's so, like because, we, because we said so. <laughs> basically. And <laughs> st stuff like that. And you find a lot of Christian families that do this, their kids end up being the ones who rebel more. But ironically my my family it was quite the opposite right where my parents were very liberal with stuff that i took right like i read comic books i played lots of video games mine is super violent right because you can't have it too super violent when you're a kid but that's a yeah. duh um but like you know i played a lot of video games growing up i read comic books i watched like lion king i read harry potter you know like growing like growing up and my parents were pretty liberal about it they were like Oh, we don't make it a big deal. And ironically, you know, the people who get sheltered more growing up, they're the ones who rebel when they get older. But with me, yeah, it, the, yeah, office, the, office, more. the opposite because, was true. Because his parents more were more liberal, Mikey became more conservative. And vice versa, parents who are more conservative, their kids end up becoming more liberal. Well, it, it, I, and I use that in quotes too, because it's not like my, when we say liberal and conservative, and that's why the wording's kind of not the best for it, it's not like my parents didn't believe in like a lot of this, like strictly, like the yeah, word, that... the word we use is fundamental, right? Like the fundamentals of the Bible. Like my parents still strongly believe that, but at the same time, the way that they raised me wasn't like really strict they... on that It wasn't. Either. It, it wasn't be, it wasn't a believe this because I said so. Yeah, and that was something so that was really helpful because then eventually that taught me to think for myself, right? <laughs> and that's why, like, once again, when I, if you check my reading streams, you'll see this. I really engage into on a deep intellectual level on how I read the Bible because, like, I was taught to think for myself, and so that's something that has been a big disappointment in the in church culture in a nutshell and i think that's yeah. the that's the biggest killer really well the second biggest killer of church culture the number one killer of church culture is sexless marriages that's the number one killer you find a lot of like church couples that you know they have kids and then they kind of stop having sex at that point and then like that that will kill your church <laughs> Oof. Sex, sex, <laughs> sexless marriages is what kills it it is the number one killer, I believe, of church culture. The next one would be over-sheltering kids. 
Of course, I mean, they go in tandem, right? Usually, parents that do that tend to be couples that already stopped having sex as, you know, a married couple. So, they kind of go hand in hand. They kind of go <laughs> hand in hand, and that just, that just bones your church, figuratively <laughs> and literally, right? So... And another thing too, like for example, and we kind of reference this, like I have this kind of dry but dark humor. Um, it's it was. Uh, I I have a I have dark humor. A lot of well. a lot of a lot of people would feel like, oh, that's kind of like, you know, edgy or whatever. But like, dude, man, I think for myself, right? So, and that's something that's, well, that is a lot of names, uh, just it, like crammed it, in there, it, like. <laughs> God. Like fucking credits. <laughs> the see, see, see. The problem is like when people like, like, for some reason, like whenever someone says edgy, like they automatically assume, oh, it's bad. Well, that's not what edgy means, though, right? Edgy just means that you you like yeah. to push people's buttons, and at the time, like, and I think this is where not necessarily church culture related, but culture in general, where like I think. We're so scared to push people's buttons because so many people can get overly defensive too quickly. And part of the problem is that like people feel entitled that like my feelings cannot be touched, right? And that's a dangerous place. You don't want to ever be in that kind of position yourself where like you think, oh, you know, you can't make, you can't criticize how, what I think or whatever, right? You can't hurt my feelings or whatever, which is like, dude, you are not ready for real life if you think you can be protected, which is exactly what happens to a lot of these, you know, Christians that grew up in a bubble, right? They, they're they raised thinking they're going to always be protected. Then you enter the real world and it's just like, nope, nope, nope. The, wor the world is very cruel and unforgiving. And that and that's another, re like, going back to with my parents, it's like, that's why they, they train me to think for myself, right? Because they, like, my parents, my parents aren't idiots. They know, right? <laughs> and so, so they're like, and this is true with like my siblings as well. Like my siblings are also all very strong in their faith as well, because we all think for ourselves and the way that we approach our faith life, we approach it ourselves. Right. And so that's something that I think is important to kind of talk about this because it's disappointing. I will say it. It's very disappointing that like a lot, you know, someone like you, Lim, you're in your early 20s and you, of course, you know, Shining and Owl that are here with me, they're yeah. basically approaching their 20s. I'm already 20. <laughs> you're approaching your 20s. So, <laughs> well, you're, you're, tw you're 21. So, or are you also only 20? I think you're, I think you're 21. I forget. Shining, are you 21 or are you 20? I'm 20. So you're approaching your twenties. So, <laughs> um, anyway, like you, you don't have these like anecdotes to really understand why like people think what they think. And that's a big disservice to you, which is a reason why I, you know, I hang around you guys and like Baruka server. Sorry, Lim. I'm kind of, this is kind of an inside thing. Uh, Baruka is another YouTuber. I kind of, uh, hang out with him a lot. Yeah. And I'm very open about talking about my religious views on his channel. <laughs> I'm very open about it in general. And I, I'm not ashamed of it, right? And I think that's another, I mean, that's another factor, right? A lot of people feel like they're ashamed to talk about it. I'm like, dude, if you believe in a God who rose from the dead, how can you possibly be ashamed of what you think? Like, obviously you don't believe that hard enough. I know that sounds super harsh for me to say it that way, but like, <laughs> that's what I believe. So I'm like, I, I'm, I'm not ashamed. I'm confident, right? <laughs> You don't have to agree with what I think, but I'm going to say what I think because I, that's what I believe. And I think that's something that yeah. a lot of, you find a lot of I, I people think, in I think church. That, I, think that, I think that's perfectly valid. A lot of like, people in churches, they don't feel got confidence, which I, which is a little bit shameful. And part of it is that like, there's not enough of like that intellectual rigor in faith. I think that's a, that's a that's a number that's a big killer too right which is why like the way i approach and what i want to do with this channel is use that intellectual rigor 
in regards to faith life because I think it's super important. It's really important. And it, if and I feel like it's lacking. I mean, like talking with like Owl and Shining here, they're well, not Shining exactly, but like Owl is a is a clear case in point of what I'm talking about. Wait, what? <laughs> well, the fact that like there isn't that kind of like good Christian example, if you will. Oh. And why would there be, right? <laughs> and you hardly see any good examples around. And I don't blame a lot of young people like you for like, oh, I don't go to church. I was like, well, yeah. I mean, I will, well, I, I will try, I, I, I will, I, I will, tr well, I will try and do my best to be like, okay, lead you to faith, and it doesn't have to be through an organized way. But at the same time, I think Ugh. that there's a big disservice in a lot of people my age group honestly you don't see a lot of people my age group talking about this kind of thing and it's embarrassing yeah. really um yeah hey, like, like i know a few people who go to church and they're, they're pretty they're pretty chill like i like like i may i may not necessarily agree with them but i can but i can at least like you're the minority uh, though <laughs> yeah, I am. Like, You're the minority. Yeah, I'm, just I'm just like, I'm just like, I'm just like, hey, like, as long, like, as as long as like it doesn't like bother me personally, like I'm just okay. Like I'm just, I'm just okay with it. Like, mm -hmm. I'm I'm tolerant of other people's views, even if I don't, even if I myself don't agree with them. Well, I mean, that's I thought that was the whole American dream, which. There's that's its own discussion altogether, about how yeah. unfortunately America is backsliding from that dream. But that's its. If we go into that, we'd be here for like another hour. I mean, who knows? These credits may even go that long. But anyway. Oh my god, these credits are driving me insane. But like... are you are you sure this isn't a movie? Because <laughs> goddamn, these credits are. They're ridiculous, and you know that's yet like. The... These credits reminded me of a Marvel movie. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this is longer because it's like now they're doing like another language group. Like, oh, here are the voice actors from like another kind. Like, I don't care about these people. <laughs> like, please just skip the damn thing. If we're going to different languages, I think we're at the point where I think we're at the point. Different. So I'm just gonna sit at the home screen now. Just, yeah. just sit at the home screen for the love of God. Oh, okay, Spare there us. we're at the home screen now. Thank you. So, anyway, um, I guess I'll just do some finished talking points and then I'll kind of end the stream. I thought I was going to end it a lot sooner. I didn't know the credits would go that long. But, you know, discussions like this is always great too and they're important. And, yeah. of course, I like to believe that I can help foster these kind of conversations because, you know, that's the reason why I hang, you know, I, I, I like to think that I'm like, you know, to use the more, how do I put it, enchanting language. A lot of Christians don't use this, but a, like a beacon of light, if you will, to, you know, a lot of people that like, otherwise we wouldn't have these discussions. I don't think like Shining's gonna wake up one more and be like, hey God, I'm gonna talk in Burke's ser uh, server about religion just because I can, right? I don't think like, <laughs> I don't think it's just gonna, it doesn't, like people just wake up thinking that, right? I don't no. like that would, that would that would be quite the shock of Al just woke up one morning and be like, "Hey, we're gonna talk about religion and Veruca's server today." Like that doesn't just happen, right? <laughs> and un, you know, un, understandable. That's I you you'd be a little worried if people just woke up thinking that, right? Because nobody wakes up thinking that, right? So yeah, and but at the same time, that's why like you know I try to be like that older example and uh, someone with. You know a fair amount of knowledge in it as well as life experience and be able to be like hey uh i want to be that beacon of light and that example because it's what i believe and so that's another reason why i kind of do what i do here and you know i'm hoping this channel does gain some traction but you know take its time and to be fair um for the last little while my schedule was just all over the place because of like working overnights and that sucks but yeah you know, hopefully I can get more into a routine thing, but... And the other thing, too, is that, like... Of course there's some, like, walking on uh, thin ice kind of thing, but sometimes, as I would like to say it, 
if ministry doesn't feel dangerous, you're doing something wrong. But, um, <laughs> but at the same time, like, you know, I'm, I'm willing to take risk with this channel too. Like, you know, I play a lot of games on here because that's a big interest of mine too. I, sw I swear, Christians are not one-dimensional people. And then, like, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, like, you know, as I mentioned earlier, and I might as well re-announce it, I'm also, like, doing a collab stream with somebody, and we're doing Silent Hill. Hashtag terrible past there, right? So, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> um, I hope you are interested in that. And, that, and the funny thing is the guy I co-host with is also a guy that, you know, we're both Christians, but we're both kind of like, not your stereotype, I guess. We're yeah. both pretty, uh, we got a lot of dark humor to share between us and it's great. So you should definitely watch our Silent, <laughs> you should watch our Silent Hill, honestly. But, uh, right, but anyway, if you guys have any other closing comments, I, I think I'm done. <laughs> Uh, uh, here's my closing argument. Uh, my closing arguments is uh, play Persona. <laughs> that is not an argument. That's a closing comment. Shut up. No, 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 no. Just... Well, I gotta find a November. I... I gotta find a November project once I finish uh, Silent Hill. So that's. Well, mm, I gotta sort out scheduling stuff, so we'll see. But I want to do a project each month, and then of course throw back Thursday and Friday for reading, right? That's kind of how I want to set up the channel. So right now I'm still doing the Halloween project, even though it will go over Halloween. Because like the next time we stream is like Monday, and that's like, what, November the 2nd? But... Yeah, that... <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that. <laughs> that sucks. But, uh, whatever. I, I mean, I'm having fun with it, but... I mean, I'm open to, to suggestions in November. I do have an interesting December project, but I won't talk about it yet. And it might involve you two, actually, if uh, you guys are game for it. But we'll see what December brings. Oh, boy. Uh, but, you know, I hope hopefully this cha this channel can gain more traction before I do that. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and of course, like, there'll be the... Well, no, I might not stream Mario 35 in a while. I don't know if I will in November because I want to do a different project November once I finish Silent Hill. Of course, November will have a lot of Brood War. So, hope you guys uh, tune in for that too. And of course, start like back on Fridays. I want to get back into more reading streams because that was one of the big things I want to do on this channel as well to help educate yeah. you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Any closing comments? Play Persona. <laughs> is it is it is it on PC? Like, can I actually do that on PC? I, uh, I think Persona I can. Four, yeah. P Persona Four Golden's on PC. Okay. <laughs> Why? Well, the funny thing is that like the funny thing is that like Ark and I, I don't know, Ark, I haven't been in contact with Ark lately, but like we were supposed to do XCOM, so that's still that's still something on like the la the laundry list, but. Uh, you I should, just you should probably DM him about today. it. Well, I should. I should. Mark messaged me. But... I got. I, I. I should harass him about it. Just like I gotta her. Just like I have to constantly harass Baruka about TMS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah. it's like, dude. We filmed the final episode like almost a month ago. Just put the last episode up already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but anyway. But if that is all. This will be the uh, end of the stream. Play Persona. Right. That's it. All right, guys. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell notifications. <laughs> and, uh... Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for coming. I hope you guys have a great day.